come to my workshop or Thunder Down Under. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to we'll start doing some test cuts and I'll show you how to get the best cut in a particular material. Okay, so let's uh, put a very nice piece of this is a eighth inch, well, just a little over three millimeter MDF. So we're going to put it between the the beams, the IR beams. Put a little warp on it. That's better. Place it somewhat square by right there, and um, we will set the auto focus. I'll put it down a little bit first. Okay. Press menu and enter. Now that's focused. Now let's just turn it this way. Like this. Okay, and we we'll bring the head over now and set the datum point. I think that'll do there. So I'm going to set the origin now. Uh, I'll just turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is pressing the origin there. So I've inserted the uh, flash drive down here in the port. So what I'm going to press now is file, view disk, enter, enter. There it is there. Oh, there it is. Okay, copy success. Enter. Okay. Escape. And there it is. There, it's showing me a square in that little window. That's an in, that's a uh, preview of what it is. So it sees it. It's in there. It's telling me that's what it is. So now we'll set the laser head up and we will run that file. Okay, so we're set up in that top right hand corner. I'm just pressing uh, enter now for track. There you go. And now I'm going to run the file. Enter, run. And that cut that out without a hesitation. But as you can see, that's quite dark. I mean, it cut it out all right. It's, it's a good cut, but I'm sure we can do better than that. Um, okay. Okay, so that was um, probably a little bit too slow so what we're going to do I don't need to go to back to the computer to change the speed or power I can go directly into this controller and change it here so what we need to do is press file enter so this is the speed of 12 millimeters a second and 25 percent power so you press enter again till it highlights it and enter again and it comes up here so now we can we can change these parameters um, I'm going to leave the 
the power as it is, I'm going to change the speed. Okay, press menu and it brings you down to here. Now when it's highlighted blue, you can change it. That one there, so we want to go... Okay, so you just bring the little cursor over by pressing the arrow button. And then the up button. 13, 14, press enter. Enter. And it's changed it to 14 millimeters a second, 25% power. So we'll run that. So we'll do a frame. And we will run the file. It's still a little dark. We'll try, uh, we'll try going uh, a little bit faster. Okay, I'm on my fourth cut now, and I just thought I'd show you this. Now, remember me saying to you about this uh, air multiple stage uh, setting for blowing of the uh, air from the nozzle. Um, um, in Adiworks we set it on high which means for cutting. So you just watch this. So what will happen is when I start to cut the high volume air will come on. So uh, I'll, I'll just keep the camera as it is like that so you can you can see. Uh, I'm just bringing up the speed of the evacuation system and I must tell you I've been cutting MDF and I have no uh, smell of anything at all in the workshop okay so here we go so I'll just do a frame and start So you notice this arm, um, high pressure cut, and the air compressor's just cut in. Pretty quiet, isn't it? And you can alter the setting or delay that this goes on for uh, with the electronic controller down in the uh, then in the side panel there, anyway, it's just gone off. So it looks like uh, there's a, about a five, five or six second delay set up at the factory. Let's have a look. So that's the compressor running uh, down over the back there. And, anyway, and it's just cut out. There's another fan running down in the side panel here, keeping the electronics cool. And the pure air is just running very at a very low level now. So there's not very much noise. Did it cut through? Yep, yeah, it cut through all right. I still think we can get it better than that. It's a beautiful cut, mind you. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful cut. So that's uh, what we have to 16 millimeters now. So I shall continue and see how far we we go. And you can see here there's some residual already building up on the honeycomb. I I hate that, <laughs> but I do have a remedy for that, which I'll show you. Uh, in videos to come.
I'll show, I'll show you how quick you can do this on the fly in the controller. So you can see we're up to 17 millimeters a second now at 25% uh, power. So it's very simple, you press enter to highlight that little program, enter again, then menu to bring it down to the first one, then use the arrows to bring a little cursor up, then bring it over underneath the number that you want to change, and then if you, you press the up arrow to change it more, or to, if you want to go less, you press the down arrow. So as simple as that, then press enter, set up successful, enter, and you're ready to go again. And here we are at 18, test, Can you hear the air? Can you hear that? That's the air at fairly high pressure. When I say high pressure, that's only, I think it's 10 psi. You can use it a lot more than that. And it's just automatically switched off. Again. Beautiful cut. Right, so I've now completed a full test run of just cutting that two inch square out of this uh, three millimeter MDF. Oh, it's got a white covering on one side, but it is MDF. And you'll notice straight away, out on the back side, pretty clean. Actually, there's not really a mark on it, just a couple of odd reflections of the honeycomb which is to be expected not really too much just where the laser enters but that'll just wipe away with a bit of a damp rag it'll just wipe off uh, but actually there's nothing at all on the pieces that uh, we've cut out just on the waste material that's left uh, which is a, a very good sign so, but this test, this was at 10 millimeters at 25%. Lock it, cut it. But, yeah, you know, it's a bit dark. It's quite a bit dark actually. Although there's no carbon as such coming off it. Uh, you know, it's nice to get a cleaner edge or as light a colour edge as you can but as you progress faster through it does actually become cleaner you notice that it's, you can see some of the grain in it of course faster is more efficient as well of course we faster and faster again 18 millimetres a little tiny bit of difference in color uh, but then when I came to 20 I had to push that out and it, you can see that there's still little tiny fibers here although it cut it it cut it through all the way around it was just hanging on by a few fibers some of you might think that's acceptable and I suppose it is because it actually cut it I just had to press it out. Uh, but for efficiency, I suppose, if you went back to 19, and there was a couple of fibers on that as well, you see there, um, it didn't fall out on its own. But at 18 millimeters, um, I, I picked it up and it did partly fall out. And I pushed it the rest of the way. So that would probably be the ideal um, cutting speed and power for this particular material. So that is how you do 
a test in to find out, okay, what's the most efficient way of cutting this particular material? And of course, different materials require different settings. Okay, I've just stuck to the group together and you might be able to tell uh, it's difficult for me viewing through the, the very small window of the camera but uh, I can tell you that uh, 20s down this end right and the farther you go back that way it goes back to 10 so it goes darker in that direction so the idea is you get the lightest um, cut then in material MDF it, you can't re you, you know you can tell a little bit by I don't know whether the camera's picking it up but uh, you know you want the lightest color that you can get but like I say about 18 would probably be the perfect cut for this material um, in the next video we are going to do a similar process with some plywood uh, of different types and um, the effect on that is more, dra more dramatic. Something else I'd like to show you of interest in this panel, this side here. So in this panel you have the stepper motor that controls the z-axis uh, and they've even got brushes here uh, to, <laughs> over the belt to keep any debris or anything from coming in on the on the stepper motor but here is the high and low pressure solenoids which operate the uh, pressure difference at the nozzle so basically that is a very simple bit of experimentation to find the perfect cut required to cut out jobs with that particular piece of material and I've also shown you how to change the in this case power output for a given speed directly in the Ruida controller They've made it so simple to be able to work with a machine like this. So please don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel. So from the Thunder Laser Nova 3500 watt and me, it's bye for now.